how to send Kate Middleton a card during her cancer treatment. Kate Middleton might become your royal pen pal. As the 42-year-old Princess of Wales undergoes cancer treatment, supporters may choose to send her a letter or card with their best wishes. On April 6, ex-user Alex Murray Hall 1 uploaded a brief note they claimed they received after sending a card to Princess Kate following the palace's revelation that she had stomach surgery in January. The fan's royal reply on Kensington Palace stationery said, Thank you for your heartfelt good wishes to Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. Your thoughtful gesture is greatly appreciated. Many royal admirers have sent mail to members of the family on significant occasions such as birthdays, holidays, wedding anniversaries, and major events like last year's coronation. <laughs> According to the royal family's website, King Charles welcomes messages from the public. The king is shown almost all of his correspondence on a daily basis by one of his private secretaries, and he takes a keen interest in the letters he receives. According to Royal UK, the monarch's website, the website suggests writing to King Charles at His Majesty the King. Buckingham Palace, London SW1A1AA, United Kingdom. King Charles, 75, recently appeared in a video reading some of the thousands of cards and letters he received since announcing in February that he is undergoing cancer treatment. Among them was a funny big card with a dog wearing a veterinarian cone and the caption, King Charles, at least you don't have to wear a cone. Another statement conveyed a more emotional tone, the main thing is family. Debrett, an etiquette expert, provides additional instructions on how to address numerous members of the royal family in writing, unless you are personally known to the sovereign. Any correspondence with the king or queen should be addressed to the private secretary to His Majesty the King. There is no need to address the private secretary by name, but all following contact should be addressed to the actual writer of the response, according to Debrett's.